We now have Indian American Dr. Binod Sinha who spoke with ITV Gold giving more facts and tips from New Jersey. Here is the story. Thank you for uh, coming to my office in Edison to take this interview from the ITV Gold Sudhir Parikh Media. Um, I have been, uh, this is not my speciality, but as a doctor, uh, I have been following this corona, COVID-19, coronavirus disease 2019, since it started and following and trying to under, read and keep current um, and giving advice to some of my friends, my patients, my family. Before we get into that, I just want to tell people about what is this coronavirus yeah. and what is this COVID-19. Coronavirus is a class of virus that affects the upper respiratory tract in human. It is known for many years, SRS, coronavirus <clears throat> was very well known. Flu also is a part of a coronavirus class. This COVID, coronavirus disease, 2019, because it was found in China, in Wuhan, and transferred from the animal to human. This, and it has mutated that it has become a pande pandemic disease all over the world. We have at present mo more than 550,000 new cases all over the world. More than 140 countries are affected by this. And death rate is m about 155,000 people has died. In USA, so far it is more than 90,000 new cases today. So it has crossed China. And it's a big concern, especially some big metro areas are showing uh, spread. It's, this is a very contagious disease. And it spreads from <clears throat> human to human. So we have to learn how to take care of this disease so that we don't spread. And there are some risk age group people who can get affected with this, who can get this disease, and there is some mortality involved, means death rate. People can die from this. As you can see, what's happening in all over the world. RP is a very strong organization. I am the president of New Jersey State RP. And my feeling is we need to get we need to get involved in this and help at local community level because hospital needs us medical staff they need medical medical doctors they need supplies P PPE personal protective equipments so we to earn our name and respect as a RP doctor, we should get involved in the local community as much as possible to help. We, so we know that this is a pandemic. WHO has announced a pandemic disease. CDC has announced pandemic disease. Number of cases are increasing every day. Deaths are happening every day. And New York is is the number one number one place it's a hot spot the other thing is female to male to female very interesting male are more prone to get this infection than female we don't know the answer children up to 14 age 
years, they don't get this infection. After that, they could get it infection, but they don't get that sick. They have a mild symptoms. I have mentioned before, everyone should learn how to protect yourself and your family. Washing hand with soap and water every hour. If you come out of home, don't touch anything. Wash your hand with soap and water. Use san sanitizer. The other important thing, we have to give a, a, a hope that 99%, 98% of the people will be okay with this disease. There's no disease that 100% cure, especially viral. This is a new virus. This is, we don't know. So only one or 2% people will die. And we have to protect the medical staff who is on the front line, who has put in their life and their family to work. They need to be protected by giving proper equipments, PPE. That's the responsibility of the government. If doctors, nurses, technicians, they start getting sick, today's statistics about 20% of the frontline staff who is taking care of the disease has, is positive. So protecting the front line is very important. We cannot give a false hope. We cannot. That's irresponsible. We have to be truthful. We have, to, we have been educating the public. Most of the people understand it's, it's a combined effort. Person has to be responsible, self-responsibility and responsibility to the society. 